Awesome. Thank you. Hi, Jason. Hello. Hi, guys. Jason. How are you? Very good. good. How are you doing today? I can't complain, but what I can say is I saw the movie last night, and I was greatly entertained. Thank you, guys. Oh, oh thank you. Fantastic. So, so glad it's to hear great that. Great it's uh, it, well, it's an honest opinion. I I am as a father, and I watch a lot of animated movies, and some I am forced to watch because that's what my kids want to watch on the TV. It's good to have a cartoon sure. that's kind of for me. Good. Well, that's exactly who we're making it for. Is every once in a while a, a parent wants to go to see an animated film that you know is just for them, just speaks to them. And, and I, when it comes out on DVD, I'll make sure I hide it so that my children don't get a hold of this and think the wrong thing. <laughs> well, it depends on how old your kids are. They're four and eight, so this would not fly. <laughs> Their mom would. Oh yeah, no, this, that this would, would not, okay. This would not fly. <laughs> no, you need at least you know eight more years for each of them. Ah, uh, maybe five or so. Anyway, but we won't get into that, guys. It was a really great movie. This is uh, Seth Rogen said this thing was eight years in the making. Have you guys been involved in that along the way, or how long have you guys been with the project itself? Oh yeah. Well, I'm I've been involved one. for seven years. Wow. Since um, for since 2009, when I finished Monsters vs. Aliens with Seth. Which is and then me and Nicole and the studio here in Vancouver was about probably six months after that. Conrad first pitched the movie to us in 2009, and we started doing our first work and development in uh, in 2010. So yeah, six six and a half years, I guess, for us. Now, considering some of the other properties that you guys work on, like you said, Monsters vs. Aliens, Thomas the Tank, and there's been a lot of you know, properties for children that are, some of them, rather heartfelt. Is it just really tug-in-cheek when you're kind of looking at some of this material like, <laughs> oh, just, just you're having a good laugh about it, considering your long history of working on animated films and TV shows and all of that? I think, you know, I always approach it where I'm trying to make myself laugh. I mean, I mean, we make comedies, whether they're for families and kids or adults. It's like it's always been a comedy, you know. Um, and so the best I, I found that the, the, that most of the jokes that work best are the ones that, 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 that when I make myself laugh, if I can make myself laugh, it's usually going to be a good joke on the screen. So I've always approached it from a from a standpoint of, of comedy and having a great time with it. You probably had a better yeah, sense of humor than I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not. It's also it's not uh, really, uh, you know, a, a sort of thumbing our nose at at, at uh, more family entertainment. As, oh, as no. Conrad said, we, you know, we've cut our teeth and made our careers as you know in the animation industry, and you know you approach every single project, you know, uh, and try to make it the best that you can. It's with this one, yeah, of course. Obviously, there was a lot of very tongue in cheek, just having fun uh, doing this. But you know, the biggest thrill of all is that you know that we actually got somebody to back us to do this and allowed Seth and Evan, Kyle and Ariel, myself and Conrad to actually make this movie and it's out there. So those are the things that you know, I know speaking for myself, I still pinch myself every time I watch the movie and say, oh, I can't believe they actually let us do this. <laughs> now I did see, um, I, I was doing some research on this, but I, I saw um, maybe I'm, I'm substantiated that this movie almost was NC-17, but you did get an R rating. But basically for a hair, is it correct? A bunch of hairs. I mean, we, we had to shave the Lavash's butt and his testicles. <laughs> and so, you know, once we shaved them, which uh, I think Greg will agree with me is even weirder than having hair on them. Yeah, I thought uh, it was a bit weirder, but hey. <laughs> yeah, they said, they said fine. I, I told that to some of the other writers, and they didn't believe me. And now I have recorded evidence to, to no, that to is true. Them. That that is true. That and when you think funny. about it, if you can, you could ask the other writers, well, what would they think of it? Because the the uh, you know, if it, if it's human beings having that sort of uh, graphic sexual encounter, immediately they would put it as NC-17. But as we kept telling them, well, they're not humans; they're food. So of course, they would counter with, well, why is there pubic hair on food? So it's like, okay, fine. So if we, we, we remove the pubic hair, then it's just back to being bred again. And for whatever weird logic that that uh, that that ends up as, that got us our, our rating. Now, speaking of, about the movie itself, I mean, this cast is, you've got Seth Rogen, you've got Selma Hayek, you've got Kristen Wiig. Um, I would go see a movie in a heartbeat if you put all of these people 
on the screen together. So people should be flocking to this movie, right? I mean, there's a great, there's some great actors in this movie. Yeah, there's some great actors, but I, I, I never take it for granted. I'm certainly hoping people flock to this movie and knocking on wood now. Uh, and I, you know, personally, I can't wait for people to see it because when you work on something that you love for seven years, you really want to share it with everybody. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I, I don't want to, I, I'm not a jinxing person that will say absolutely yes. But yeah, I, there's, there's, there's some signs that, that, that you were, you know, that people are definitely going to come see it this weekend, and and uh, I I can't wait. I'm really excited about it. Well, I have Man, to say, I, mean, we, that, I would add that. that so no, I was so just going to say we would add to that that it's just like we we've got Oscar nominated actors in this movie as well as you know just some of the funniest funniest human beings on the planet. So I would absolutely concur, Jason, that if these guys showed up in any movie, I would be whether I had anything to do with the creation of it or not, I would be wanting to go see that movie. It's a, it's a cast to die for. Yes, because I'm, I'm a person that I like media in all forms. It doesn't have to be just live action. It could be animated. It doesn't, that does not necessarily take away from anything. It could even add to it. And honestly, the, the reactions from the theater I was in, everyone was laughing. They were having a good time. It was, it was one of those movies where you're going to enjoy yourself. And I, I really liked it. Great, great. Uh, if, you, if you if you keep saying that for us, I would totally appreciate it. <laughs> Not a problem. I, I am going to say it because I did like it. Now, okay, with, with everything with the like I said with the cast, this is a very funny cast. These, it, were there any just hilarious moments that happened while you were making this movie, like behind the scenes I, stuff or anything? Behind the scenes, uh, I mean, there was too many to mention. I mean, it's the same sounds like a bit of a cop-out answer, but it really was like a, a serious freaking laugh fest from start to finish working with, with, with the cast. Yeah, even when we custom to some of the craziness that you saw on the screen, even that was funny. Because, we, you know, after watching the orgy for about, you know, for about the 900th time, you know, we... <laughs> We're just kind of sitting there with the art team going, okay, so uh, how are we going to do Lavash's balls? All right? They're just <laughs> going to come from under the ropes? Okay. And it was very mundane, and then we all stopped and looked at each other, and then we'd start cracking up just at the fact that we were discussing a Lavash's balls so flippantly. It was, I mean, even that was funny. So it's just, it's kind of, it was it was always a blast. And, uh you know, we had our we had our moments of panic, but it wasn't you know you know on whether or not oh shit you know on schedule are we on time are we on budget all that kind of stuff, which is you know it didn't have anything to do with the creativity of the film. It was just a re- which I've had on every movie I've ever directed. So uh, it was it was it was pretty much process wise very similar, but uh, but create creatively really just so rewarding. Well, I think the funniest behind the scenes thing, Conrad, remember, and people may have forgotten about it for now, and who knows, it might end up on the DVD, but um, it's when we turned the camera on, Seth and Evan and Kyle and Ariel, the writers, um, while one of our storyboard artists pitched a version of the orgy to them in storyboard form, and they just about lost it. I think uh, Seth had it up on his Facebook page for a while, that was a couple of years ago. And I think it had like 18 million hits in like no time flat. So that was that was pretty cool. Well, I mean, hearing about how long this project took, and hearing you guys talk about it, it it, it really makes me kind of want to go see it again. I want people to understand how long it took you to get this done, and the passion in your voices when you talk about it. Because, like I said, there's, there's a there's a there are people out there who are going to say, oh, it's an animated movie or whatever. But honestly, just sitting down and able to enjoy yourself for a few minutes and just laugh out loud at the silliness that's on screen, it's something that we still need in theaters. I don't need to walk away, you know, with a message or think about it, even though there is a slight message in there, and I love that you guys added it in, by the way. I love the fact I could just sit down, laugh, and have a good time. Oh, good. That, that's, that's great. Very, that's great very to hear. Awesome to hear. And I yeah, I mean, it's too. like... It's like we we you always want to have some sort of reason you're telling a story, but it doesn't have to be pounded over the head. 
you know, uh, it, 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 we, we kind of took what you might see as the message um, of the movie and we, we used it as a, as a catalyst for our characters, you know, uh, and, and for their relationships. We weren't trying, I don't think any of us were trying to, you know, make some gigantic, you know, uh, soapbox statement about anything. It was, it was in the beginning, we were just saying, okay, well, you know, here's some of the things that we've dealt with in our life and, you know, when it comes to, you know, these subjects. And so we understood it and we put it in the movie and, and that's kind of what propelled the story forward for us. Uh, it's definitely not, we're not, definitely not trying to be preachy about anything. Well, it doesn't, I, I'm predict, look, I, I'm not going to go off on any chance or anything because I also knock on wood. I want the movie to do real well. I can't wait for the DVD. Um, how interested are you guys in maybe continuing the story? Something uh, we want to. would like to continue the story with a with a sequel, absolutely. Well, that's great to hear from, like I said, from somebody that watched the movie and enjoyed it. But I think audiences are going to really like it. I'm hoping there is a lot of word of mouth and people go like, oh, what's that movie about? Hopefully people out there, oh, man, it's really good. It had this, it had this. You describe four scenes and somebody's like, okay, I have to go see that movie now. Yeah, Great. I think I think that's uh, something that will uh, we feel that that's that's going to happen. So it's great to, to hear it from somebody else that's that has a completely unbiased opinion on it. So we think it is a word of mouth film. You know, people around the water cooler on a Monday morning saying, "Holy shit!" You know what I just saw on the weekend? You've got to see that movie. <laughs> I think that's probably what is is really going to help the film. And I, like I said, it, it's it's it was a great, funny watch. I hope people go to see it. I won't. I know you guys got a lot of interviews. I won't take up too much of your time, but thank you for talking with me for a few minutes. And guys, go out and watch Sausage Party if you're listening to this interview. With these are the directors; they worked hard on this. I want the movie to do well. Uh, well, thank you so much much for the kind words. It's great to hear. Thank you. Thank you, guys.